If you've got a pension, or if you're interested in investing, it's likely you've come across the term compound interest. You may have even heard that Albert Einstein once referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world. But what does it actually mean? In this video, we'll reveal what compound interest is and why it's so important for your investments. Compound interest essentially means interest on interest. It means that any growth on your investments, like your pension, is added on and used to fuel future growth. Let me explain. Let's say you save £100 into your pension. After a year, your pension has grown by 10%. Fantastic. Your savings have grown by £10. 10% of your original £100 contribution. Fast forward another year. If your pension grows by another 10%, how much have you earned? £11. That's because you're now earning interest on £110, your £100 contribution, plus the £10 interest from year one. Now you're sitting on £121. The year after, it'll grow by £12.10. So that's £10, £11, £12.10. As you can see, each year the amount of interest you're earning is increasing. You haven't added anything extra yourself, but the rate at which your pot grows increases. And this is why compound interest is so important. Over time, your growth can start to snowball as your interest grows year after year after year. This is perhaps best understood with the rule of 72. This goes that wherever compounding is involved, the amount of time it will take your savings to double is roughly 72 divided by the interest rate. So, at 5% interest rate, the amount of time it will take your pension to double is 14 years. Compound interest is the opposite to simple interest, where you only see growth from what you contribute yourself. So in the example we just gave, you'd only earn interest on the £100 you saved at the start, regardless of how much your savings have grown. Here's one quick final example to highlight how powerful compound interest is. Let's say we have two savers, Jack and Jill. Jack starts saving into his pension at 30, putting £50 in every month. Let's say he earns 5% interest on average for each year. At age 60, he'd be left with a pot of around £41,000. Not bad. But what about Jill? She was keen on investing from a young age. She started adding £50 a month into her pension at age 18. However, when she got to age 30, she stopped. From age 30, she never paid into her pension again. Jill contributed the same amount every month as Jack, but for 12 years compared to 30. At 60, whose pension is bigger? That's right, Jill's. Despite adding less than half as much money to her pension as Jack, Jill's pension would be worth £42,000 at age 60, using the same 5% interest as before. How? Because Jill's pension has had 30 years to compound. She earned far more than Jack from interest, meaning the money did the hard work, so she didn't have to. So here's the takeaway. The earlier you start saving into your pension, the better. Thanks to compound interest, more of your final pot will come from growth rather than from your pocket. And that's something we can all enjoy. For more help on pensions, head to getpenfold.com slash pensionguides today.